Good morning, everybody. It is, uh, what time is it? It's 5.40 in the morning. Drove up here to the old MTV house and took a gander at the fish. Handed me up with Rackley, of course. But look at this. Old buddy's good. Okay, well, he's gone now. But hey, little ball of bait's getting a little smaller. Having two bass and a catfish in here, that, that ball of bait really kind of slowly diminishes over time. There's that panfish I caught the other day. Where's the other one? There's Gary. Ball of bait. Big old catfish. Okay, I know I've seen the other ones in here. Where are they at? I put three in here two days ago or a day and a half. Oh, there's two. One. Okay, hold on. Where's the other one? There's one right there. There's another one. Here we go. Is the third inside of you? You know, I feel like kind of started the day off with a little bit of a feeding session. So, I think it's time. Where you at? Come on. Just gonna go ahead and just kind of toss her on in there. You know what? On a good note, that fish is not being as aggressive. Beforehand, this fish right here, that's not Gary. That's the un unnamed fish currently. But that fish right there, he used to just come up and just smash Gary constantly. Honestly, honestly, my honest opinion, this fish was caught off a of bed. That mean little sucker right there. Uh, I think it might have been caught off a of bed and he had like all the hormones were still all, all jacked up and he was just mean and aggressive and just want to eat everything. Smash everything, I guess. Now he seems to be uh, quite a bit more calm. Look, him and Gary actually hanging out. Pretty neat looking. I look at that little skin tag thing he's got going on his face. I wonder if that's from being caught. Just kind of just hanging there. So the man, the myth, the legend actually did show up and this fish actually just started getting more aggressive. He just sucked in one of the goldfish and spit him out. So that goldfish gets to live a little bit longer. But what's going on with his face? Is that from being caught? Um, so... It's like a little, that little skin tag. What's I, that from? He's either been just like fighting other fish so much or fighting Gary so much or got in a fight with the catfish, brawled, um, or someone in the house has hooked it in the face. <laughs> but I'm just glad I don't have one of those on my face. <laughs> You've got something else going on. I, I've got some serious <laughs> stuff. You know what I've noticed? What's I'm up? like weird hair growth along that area. My hair is like wiry now on that scar, and uh, it's not cool. <laughs> oh, it looks good. All right, new lake, no idea what it looks like. Hopefully, Oh, these are barn burner days. These are, <laughs> these are the good days. All right, it's gonna be a good day. We got like an hour some change drive ahead of us. On it, we've never been here, so we don't know if it's gonna be filled with grass, filled with rock. I did look at some Google images and it did have some docks, so that's a plus. So I brought, I've got a flipping setup, three eighths ounce pegged. What is this? That's a frog. I brought a big swim bait just in case they're post spawn and a jig. Only thing I probably should have added was like a swim bait underspin, something like that. Oh, LFG TV. Look at that old logo. The LFG TV one, fishing TV. That's a throwback. That's a throwback logo. And then they also have a, always a good logo. Yeah, they got the Lord and Savior on there. Always. Just keep it safe. So, on the way to the lake, we're having random talks about just stuff that we do. I, I, I feel like I need to stick a GoPro here every once in a while, which I don't know why I haven't done yet. Yeah, that just happens. There's a button on my camera you guys don't know about. It's called the record button. I just went past like 13 seconds talking to the camera and it wasn't even recording. That's always a good way to start, but we're having a conversation about the clouds. Mr. LFG is telling me that today is going to be a knockdown, drag them out, just beat down on the bass because it's a, uh, the calm, cool, collected, Stable environment with 30 mile an hour winds. That's pretty much what we're looking at. He's telling me these clouds right here, guys. If you see these clouds, you better be fishing. Time check. 7.53, just showing up at the lake. There's gonna be some sort of fishing or fish inside of it. There's a bass boat right there. There's reeds, yes there is reeds. So it means there's probably stick bait haven, fluke haven. Uh, maybe a little bit of a top water action. Looks pretty good, water clarity. What do you think it's gonna be like, clean? I don't think so. No? It's got a lot of docks. You can see a lot of docks. On a good note, there's a bass tracker and another boat here. And then there's a big bass boat parked right there. So we know that there's bass in here. Good start. You got everything? Shh, quiet truck. I'm ready. You need this hat yet? That's the time of year. You need this? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't have a buff. It's gonna be a good day. Aren't you guys pretty jacked? No idea what's going on? Try to try to try to fish my my goal is always try to fish a different body of water like every other day. I want to fish every lake in Texas. Might be kind of hard, but gonna give it a shot. And uh today is a new one. I haven't fished a lake with docks in quite a long time, so that's kinda of, hopefully the bite's a dock bite, you know what I mean? Dock bite, yeah, I want a dock bite. Whoa! Holy crap! Did you see that? That is a big snake. That just caught me way off guard. Did I just run that over? That is a big old snake. 
I mean, he's not moving. That looks pretty dead to me. What kind of snake is he? That's 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 what I always struggle to kind of figure out. No, I couldn't have just done this. This is all dried, crusty blood. Actually, that's not dry, crusty blood. This was done this morning by one of the other boats. This this the bigger pool is uh, a little wet, and this this stuff's all dried up. I don't think he's uh, I don't think it's a, a harmful snake to us. Might just be a rat snake, I guess. It's a big snake, yeah. Well, look, this is this is dried, but this right here is still wet. Well, he's definitely not a rattlesnake. But uh, what kind of snake is he? Is he a rat snake? So he's not poisonous at all or no. venomous. Venomous? Venomous. Not, not gonna be a venomous. Yeah, snake, not venomous. No. It's a good way to start the day. This is how you know it's gonna be a good cinco day. Oh, that was, that was nice. Yeah, didn't step on anything. All right, you ready? We got normal Texas clarity. Does not actually. This is pretty dirty. That looks like the chatterbait might be a, a thing today. I think that might be my spitterbait. I think a chatterbait's probably money though. And I wanna, I don't wanna throw a green pumpkin, but I think I don't have a choice. There's a black and blue. Black and blue chatterbait or a green pumpkin? I think I think the black and blue is the way to go. So where's the swimmers at? Where we decide to put those nowadays? Oh, okay. That bag right there. Brand new selection. Dirty water calls for black and blue or chartreuse and white, which I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the black and blue for now. Give her a send right there. Oh, is she gonna look pretty? Oh yeah, look, that is. Oh yeah. That is behind. Oh, that was behind the rocks first cast. Look at those ducks. Just being ducks. Oh, there's one. First fish, second cast. Feels half decent. I don't feel bad. Oh my god, that's why it doesn't feel half decent. Because it's a freaking turtle. Is that your first turtle of 2018? That's my first turtle of 2018. That doesn't yeah. happen too often. Where's your, where's your uh, pair of pliers? Yeah. Second cast is a turtle. I've never caught a turtle on a moving bait like that. It doesn't feel half bad. Well, I can tell you why. It's because it's a turtle. Okay. Let's try her again there, folks. Good, good start. Yeah, do you like that hook set? Ah. Lean into it. Oh yeah, it feels good. Snakes and turtles. Feels good. It feels like a good fish. Hey, wrecked it. This little pocket right here looks pretty decent. Go some grass to rock to grass. Yeah, this water is muddy. But I would assume they're probably used to it, huh? Oh, that was, go from, that's a fish. Yeah. You see me eat that? Right on the bank, Ow. right on the bank. <sighs> hey, now we're on the right species. We go from a uh, reptile to a bass. There we go. That's the way to start her off. Um, be 100% honest with you guys. I didn't mean to cast like that so much in front of Rackley. Kind of an accidental cast and it panned out. Yeah, so if they're that close on the bank, I don't think the reeds, I mean, what if they're sitting on the edge of the reeds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, see, like, look at these reeds over here. I think this right here, not that cast, but this area should have a good fish in it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Is it gonna happen? Oh, oh, yes, it did. It. That was it, it just got dumped. Look at the snake coming at us. Snake? Yeah, another one. Get out of here, snake. This one is not as big as the last one. Definitely the same species of snake. Look at this little black tail, or tongue. Hey, that's how you scare the fish. That's the cast of a century. Oh. You have them. Yes. You have them. <laughs> Dude, I thought you did have one. Oh my gosh. Yep. They're right on the bank. Yep. Okay. Dirty. The dirty of the dirtiest. What's it's going got, on with that one? It's got a weird. No, he has a hole in his head. He's got a 22 uh, shot. Dude, he was on the bank. I think they're going to be in the reeds, man. You think they're just going to be stacked really up in there? This is this could be a really fun day of fishing. Yeah, Not like, knowing anything about a body of water, just showing up and catching turtles, seeing snakes, seeing American flags. It's going to be a good day. I'm, I'm almost half tempted to pick up a frog, and, which I'm going to. Uh, this is one of those kind of days where I wouldn't be surprised if I turned around and there was a snake chilling on the boat with us. Uh, yeah. You think a frog's going to work? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. I There's fish in there. About. What's this right here? What's this? What's this right shad. here? Shad. Shad. shad being crowded. I just saw a reed get knocked. That's the craziest when you watch the reeds go. <laughs> I do think a frog will work, but I think it's got to be on that, that actual bank bank. But I think taking this chatterbait, because I mean, how much water we got? Yeah, I just spooked shad out of the water with that chatterbait. This water is the equivalent to eating six chalupas from Taco Bell. Let's go back to the main, main area. Throw some moving baits. Plus the main lake. You know what they're already doing? They're munching on little baby shad, so. I mean, we caught three fish or four fish in a turtle in five minutes. That's where you want your cast, right? Up over the dock, correct? Like or no? Um, what do you want to do, try the dam? 
and throw a score build on the dam or something. I think, yeah. I, I think I can get hop on that train. Out the gate, we caught, we've been here like an hour maybe. So we've caught a couple fish. We're gonna eliminate reeds right now because it's just not really panning out. We're gonna go try the dam since there's no reeds on it and throw square bills. Or I'm gonna throw a square bill. You gonna throw a square bill? Plan of action. I like it. Kind of in a good little rhythm here on casting. I am getting, I'm hitting everything known to man down there. I will give these baits props. These are the only crankbaits I'm probably going to buy from now on. Dude, those crankbaits they are bounce off everything. The only problem is, I broke another one yesterday. Don't bang them against the water. I think we need to go back to what worked these, in the first five minutes. These are the rock snappers down here. Okay, dam is, um, yeah. So there's a little bit of a change of pace from now to, uh, well, from the beginning of the video and now. I'll tell you guys what, we were kind of expecting it to be a shallow fishery. Actually, you know what it is, a shallow fishery. There's, there's no way, because there's nothing really out here off these points. It's just mud, just nasty bottom. So they, I mean, where, where else do they go? They're going to be sitting shallow. And when you want to try one of these bridges, maybe? I think so. Yeah? Rip wrap. Rip wrap, a little bit of rip wrap. But we, that, this morning we tried rip wrap on the dam and that didn't work. We thought we were onto something really quick there. I mean, we had five bites in like three minutes, especially a turtle. Maybe the dam is too deep. That just seems weird. Saying it's too deep when the water is 76 degrees seems really odd when it comes to bass. It's like, we don't know it. We're just kind of cruising. Kind of cruising down the... I don't think I can really see your face. Oh yeah, there you go. Got it. <sighs> All right. Well, yeah, he just was swimming with it. He just went on a ride of his life. Put the full force on it. Well, I didn't, you know, I this was swimming. You never know how big it is when they're just swimming. Sorry, little dude. That dude just went, whoops. It has been. How long has it been? It is now 10.54. It has gone that long. It was like really, 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 really good in the morning. And then it just went. The water temp here is hot. 76 degrees. There's one. There's one. Yeah. There we go. That's a zinger right there. Yes. Switched it up to a finesse bait. Got him right in the roof of the mouth. He is a tank. All right, little dude caught a fish cool <laughs> cool good to go good to go <laughs> so do you think there's any big fish on this lake you think it's just, just no not really that's another thing when you guys come to a random lake you don't know anything about could not even have a bass in it I, you know there's i don't think there's any lake in texas that doesn't have bass in it just yeah. may not be big bass oh flick shape for the win i i was actually gonna throw a stick bait they like dark colors i couldn't imagine why oh some pistachios and some keys uh oh okay i know we're hopping out of the water but we're gonna do we're gonna kind of uh well we're gonna switch spots i got an idea hey <sighs> it, was, it wasn't that bad of a day i just started off but we got better ideas here so this lake is is it's kind of a shallow fishery we think well it, i think it is because it's so muddy you know there's not really a lot of stuff out there everybody else is fishing kind of like that gentleman right over there he's also fishing extremely shallow water temp 70 what did i say 78 yeah, 78 high. It's kind of it's kind of warm so midday not real good idea we're already way up here in texas so we may as well go exploring because it was about two hours from the house so we got a couple other lakes over here so this succulent one looks like it has a little bit of grass in it and some pads you want to go to that one or the other one grass and pads that's a nice switch up grass and pads should be really clean right uh next question i need to put my seatbelt on that's not a question but food all right i think that's food. the real reason we left the google earth maps challenge actually it's not really a challenge just find a lake and go fish it how about that no idea what's really there that's what's about to happen and eight pull by seat build on good note there's four trucks here bad note it's orange i you thought that would be we were fishing dirtier water before but this is really nasty actually i'm talking that is just a wide open just 30 mile an hour wind straight to the face Unless we go all the way over there. Lily pads and grass usually means what? Clean water? This looks like Nesquik was just poured out of the sky. Save, save ourselves the time. Or do you think we just drop it in? This might be one of the most interesting sins. <laughs> well, we're going to give Lake Nes Nesquik a uh, shot here. Last time we fished a muddy muddy lake, we actually caught... Uh, 28 to 29 30 pounds summer summer on there quite quite a bit of quite a bit of weight for our first time fishing that lake and it actually panned out but it was not this muddy this is this is fairly up there in the top dirtiest waters i've ever fished pretty high up there i mean generally you can find areas of lakes that are like that brown but not like as far as you can see just straight brown i don't think google earth kind of gave me a uh, fair picture on this one i thought it was gonna be cleaner water but 
It's a windy one. Have you ever fished a lake so dirty? You feel like your motor needs a coffee filter on it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at this. This looks tasty. Dude, when you look out, it's crazy because it looks, it does look like Mars and then Mother Earth. So, how about a chartreuse everything? You got a chartreuse chatterbait. Or are you just gonna throw a spinnerbait? I'll throw a chatterbait, you throw a spinnerbait. I don't even think I'd want to throw black and blue. I mean, the other place was dirty water. This looks like Makers of Nesquik just took a poop. Oh my, it's, it's gone. It's gone, look at that. Can't see it at all, huh? Look, there, wow. gone. There, gone. We've got an inch visibility max. I'd hate to say it, but I think that this is too dirty for black and blue. Let's give her a shot. Let's see what she looks like. See her just a little bit better in black and blue. Oh yeah. Well, everybody sitting at home, we are extremely baffled and don't really understand. It doesn't make any sense. This place should be gin clear. Or not, it may not be gin clear, but it should be. Maybe like tannic color? It should be clear. clean. Like we should be able to see. So I don't know what's going on here. I wonder if they're doing construction up the, in the mouth of the creek that comes into here. We need to go find out if this is what it always looks like. Okay. Rackley and I both knew that this lake was supposed to be clean because Google Maps said it would be clean. They wouldn't essentially say it would be clean, but it looked like it was clean. And there was the right grass, there was pond weed, milfoil, coontail, everything that was there to clean the water. He talked to somebody at the ramp. Do you want to know? I, I do want to know. Am I going to be shocked? This lake normally is very clear. And I asked like, are there bass in here? He's like, oh damn. He's like, hey, let's fool a bass. It's only been muddy for a couple of days. Oh, no. Oh, game over. Two days. Two days. It's been muddy. Why has it been muddy, though? He said that, like, the rain it just came in through the creek. It just accumulated, and he said normally it's clear. Okay, well, he now. He said it's the worst it's ever fished right now. When, when you guys find a body of water that's supposed to be gene clear and it's randomly just turns muddy, you may as well just go home, grab a newspaper, put your feet up, possibly read yeah. some other article because you there's maybe grab a cup of free range, throw it out there. What are the chances? So that, that rain that we had at Too our rain. house the other day. Must have been really bad up here. It was super bad. They got like seven inches flash flood and that's what did it. We just got a little bit. Son of a new lake. Okay, lake two, ladies and gentlemen. Well, lake three. Lake three looks 100% fishable. Yeah, is it? Like this is fishable. Yeah. Even, even if they're not used to this, just imagine what it was like before the big rain. This must have been ultra gin clear. Look at the little, look at the little shed, look at the little bait fish right there. Look at the little ball of them right there. I mean, I, we can actually see bait. Maybe it has a bigger creek arm coming into it, like a giant creek. Doesn't look bad. No, I think this is fishable. I really do. Three lakes one day. Now we gotta figure out how to catch bass on this one. It's a nice, nice dock. I thought the boat ramp just disappeared. Okay. All right, well, let's try this again. This is good. You guys just missed something funny. I was actually just sitting down, uh, contemplating what I wanted to do, throw a moving bait or pitch in here, and Rackley just flips the jig in and boom, big old bass. But that's not the best part. The best part's what happened afterwards. I wasn't recording, so I'll just let that one simmer, and you guys gotta go check out his channel to find out. We'll just say that it sliced through my finger right there. Hey, that's a good sign. Did you see his belly, how wide it was? Just a big, fat fish. Nice. Just, just ready for life. Got him. He's in there still. Come on. That might be a good fish. Yep, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. No, 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 no. There we go. New lake. Google mapping it up. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Come on, baby. There he is. Big head. Oh my gosh, look at the, wow, that fish. I got a zombie fish. That is a serious zombie fish. That is a big zombie fish. I think, I think zombie fish deserves a photo. Dude, yeah. You don't catch crazy. them like that very often. That's, oh my, that's... that is a zombie bass right there. Oh, on the jig. Gotta get old zombie fish back in the water. She is, she or he, what do you think, she? she yeah, look at that. So beat up, Oh, just. Go get ready for next year, baby girl. Dude, that bite, that felt good. Boom, doom, and then she just started running with it. Zing! Love that feeling. There we go. Third lake? Third lake? Sure. Oh, I think we may have found a hidden gem here with the amount of grass, like a super hidden gem. Imagine, imagine next year spawning. This place is gonna be gin clear. 
I think we need to stay here probably for a while. I'm feeling it today. I mean, it could be just this area, but who knows? I'm telling you, if, if, if we can continue on in this, I could sit here until dark. You think they're in this stuff closer to the bank? There's one. Yep. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, get out. Good one. Good fish. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's not good at all. Apologize. Big issue. Keep Big going, issue. Keep going. All right, we're still good. That'd not good. 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 Not good. Ah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, that answers our question. If they're down by the, uh, we're gonna knock 25 pounds plus on a random lake today. It's gonna yep. happen. Yep. That's gonna happen. Look at, look at her tail. There we go. Fish number two. Well. Quality fish number two for me. How many? How many? How much weight do you think we have now? Pretty girl. You think we're at 22 already? I th I, I know we're gonna have a 25 pound plus a day, all day. This is the this is the weird thing though. If they're not just on these isolated and they're all Scary. along, we just keep going. We're just gonna keep flipping. That'll get you jacked right there. Just oh, I think there's an eight easy coming from the day. There, we we could we me and you will jack an eight. One of us will. Last time I said that it happened, right? The juice for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Sweet succulent jig. Oh, oh my god, you had a fish on! Jeez! What? I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> I thought I was stuck on pads, dude. Yeah. Did you? I, I was just <laughs> I was just kind of lifting up. I thought it was seriously stuck on pads. Oh. Like, yeah, I was like just pulling it through. I was like, yeah. man, that's kind of weird. Son of a gun. Not really gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's because of the wind. That's all I'm gonna put the blame on there. That was weird. That might have been the first time I've ever had a fish on and not really even know it. <laughs> kind of slowly pulled just, the grass yeah, in. Yeah, just pulled grass in that I was trying to undo a snag. No, 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 no. Okay, out. Sneaky bass. Wow, I kind of feel... Hmm. Okay, now that's a question for you guys. Has that ever happened to you where you're like fishing around pads, grass, and stems? I don't have braid, just, just so you know. If it was braid, it might have been a little bit different, but has that ever happened where you're like lifting up, you're like, man, you're trying to get a snag undone and you actually have a fish on? Yeah, that just happened. Well, look at the gloriousness. Gloriousness, is that a word? That is a word, okay. The gloriousness of all these pads, reeds. Frog city, that should happen hopefully later on. I'm pretty excited. See, that feels like fish. Yep. Oh, yeah. Running. Oh, yeah. Woo! Okay. That is the smallest one I've caught on this lake so far. And to be honest with you guys, I did catch a five pounder off camera. Gonna throw that out there. Wasn't recording. That is for sure the smallest fish I've caught out here. That's a healthy fish. Wow. We have hammered down today. I don't even care. I'm just having a good time. Another little one. Okay. Okay. How about a little action? That's uh, two fish and five casts. And look at this froggy spot. You can't put it down. Look at that. I gotta put it tight. Oh my. That has frog written all over it. That is dirty. It's gonna be nice being out of the wind for about two minutes. It's like Hurricane Katrina came through here. Come on, big fish. Oh, I got one. Oh, <laughs> I just cast it way over there. Is he still on? Yeah, he's still on. I just cast it right on the point. Last fit. No, no, no. Don't you do it. Get off that pet. I can see him. Look at him. All right. I'm going to do something I'll probably know I shouldn't do. Just grab the line. Grab that pad. Whoa. Yay. You like that? Okay. And get that get that face oh no i got him what <sighs> barely hooked we almost had a big issue there with that rod flying in the water yeah i didn't even notice it last fish good day dude good oh. day oh my god oh. <laughs> so good I feel good. This is a W. This is some George W type stuff. This is good. Good day. Hey, I want to let you guys know something. These pads are no joke. Okay, this is... See that? Can you hold that for me? Oh my quick? gosh, dude. Look, That's yeah. way taller than me. That pad stem. Look at that thing. That's eight foot? Nine foot? What do you think? Yeah, because I'm about seven four. So... <laughs> so pretty good oh god it's such a good day to go hang out with lfg good buddy good buddy good found we found a very whew, scrum dilly umptious lake kind of sad though i'm gonna be honest with you we came through here and threw frogs had no bites and then just you know what just throw a jig Boom. felt so good 
<sighs> All right. Right now we're going east. We need to go west. Yeah. Okay. And I have no service, so we're just gonna have to just, just kind of roll with it. Oh man, springtime, springtime. Oh yeah. Just get just. I'll probably take that. I guess. Yeah. yeah didn't use it too much. Today. No, didn't need that, huh? I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, it's a fantastic day, guys. It's. I know we went to three separate lakes. We generally don't do that, but I, 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 I really have a goal. I want to fish every single lake in Texas and like pinpoint like which ones like going into spawn would be good. Like going into pre-spawn would be good. Like today, that lake could be phenomenal. Maybe if the water clarity is like where I think it's supposed to be. I guess we didn't realize that they had seven inches of rain or something overnight. That's my coffee cup. Yeah, probably need that. All right, man. I'll see you later. Anyway, like my, my goal is to have like a big Texas map and then actually mark on there like good for spawn, not good, dirty water, clean water, you know what I mean? So I can go back and remember. As I've fished so many lakes in Texas and I and I can't like still remember if, what the water clutter is like, so it's good, good for me to do that. So. <laughs> anyway, there, there's my random spiel of the day. Time check is 726. I think we started the day at like we got about four in the morning. I love these early summer, late spring grinds. It's almost smallmouth season now. <laughs> Calm yourself, calm yourself. Not scared, don't ever be scared of this dog. That dog. Calm down. This is the dog right here that I would fear. Definitely not the little one. The bigger dog? Yeah, he's from Afghanistan. You know, I don't mess with him. I've actually watched him eat other dogs. Literally one time he actually brought another dog onto the camp and they were, I don't know. Wild dogs, we're just gonna leave it at that. Say hello. What are you doing, Avery? That's weird. Don't do that. It's really weird. Oh, the morning's gonna be brutal. It's not chili, it's spaghetti. Oh, it's spaghetti? Oh, okay. Never mind. Come here! Ah, whoa! Did you have a good day? Yeah? Did you play with bubbles? Uh, hey, I just want to always uh, end the note by you guys saying hello to, or seeing, not really saying hello, but I guess it is kind of somewhat saying hello to Miss Avery. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, one sec, one sec, we gotta close, we gotta close, we gotta close, we gotta close, we gotta close. Thanks for hanging out with me guys, you guys know the deal. I'm gonna be back at it again, hopefully tomorrow. Hey, you wanna, you wanna just end it? You wanna end it? You wanna say bye-bye? Say bye-bye, no? You wanna take a picture? You wanna take a picture, say bye-bye. We'll just go ahead and just roll the outro. I'll see you guys tomorrow.